In today's video, we are making a monk strap loafers. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up, my people? Welcome to Big Footies. Yeah, this is the channel whereby we showcase shoes for you. We show you how to make shoes, and you yourself you can try something on on your own. If you are just viewing for the first time, please do it to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification. Don't forget to share as well. Like I said in today's video, we are making a monk strap loafers with a brook sponging. Stay tuned. Yeah, as we all know what the first process in shoe making is, whereby you place a pattern on your material and you cut out the design you are making. Same thing applies to this as well. We have all our details, we have all our material has been cut out. We have all the things we need. It's been cut out already. We have the counters, we have the upper, we have the strap itself, we have the, the body of the shoe. We have the uh we also have the boku, yeah. The leather for boku, we also have it as well. So let's see what we have now. Okay, we have our punching. This is the punching stage. Well, as as you can see what the how the design is what the design says whereby it has a punching so it has a brook punching so we are that's what we are doing here i i really can say that design is a monster uh shoe to be very honest i really don't know the name but you know when a customer comes with a, with a design you just have to go with the design and look for the name later just you know uh give it a name yourself being a shoemaker you know uh the details on the shoe that a look can give you uh the design the, the name of the shoe when once you see once there is the, the, the shoe is well detailed that alone can give you uh the name of the shoe we all know the the, the uh the, the strap we all know what a, a monk strap is a, a double strap so monk strap has that design a monk strap shoe so that's why uh we, we call it a monk strap design which is the true area where we added our buckle okay so but and also also it has a brook punching so i really can't see and it's a low fast <laughs> so because it's not a, a, a lace up shoe so i really can see it's a monk strap or a low fast so that's why i had to join together a monk strap loafers with brook punching okay so let's move on to the next one after uh, after punching we added a little gum on our leather on the up and also on the upper and we joined together as you can see what we're doing here we are trying to remove any you know there the, 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 sometimes we have a gum uh a tea gum that stays on the leather so you need to remove it so that you have a thing and in this job okay so we joined the second one also after joining we sew after sewing uh we tape we tape this process is is kind of a it's a long process not really long but it has it has a lot of process to follow and uh and uh a sewing and sewing it has so much sewing in it so let's see what we have next after joining our upper with the body of the shoe okay we have our buckle it's been done already our buckle it's been done already we we, we are going to line in our mock strap which is necessary because if you don't you need to line in it that's how it works i really don't know there's no principle for it but you need to line in it to get uh, a, a better result okay after after okay why doing that we have our like i said we sew after sewing because uh brooks require sewing so the the, the design enters interchangeably because we have brooks sewing and punching we have monster design and it's also a loafers a loafers shoe so just call it a monster loafers with brooks design or with brooks punching okay you can always reach us to us on our social media platform 
on Instagram at p.footies, Facebook at p.footies, Twitter at p.footies, p.footies. Also, on uh, to get our location, it's on Google p.footies. You can always reach out to us on WhatsApp at, as well. If you want to be part of the business, if you want to be a reseller, or if you want to learn more about shoemaking. So that that's that about that. Don't forget to join your drop your comments below the video under this video. So because that alone keeps us going. As the design implies, normally on, on loafers shoe, it has loafers as taping. No matter what, it has a taping. Loafers shoe as a taping. If you don't put, if you don't tape your loafers shoe, then it's on it. The outcome is it's on you. So that's taping. So that's what we are doing in this video, as you can see. So after taping, we added, we applied gum to it. After applying gum, while doing that, you have to show the counter area of the shoe, the counter half parts, the counter leather. We are sewing it. Like I said, it has a whole lot of sewing in it due to, to the design. So we have our monk strap, it's been cut out already. And also, we, 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 like we, we all know, we, we already punched the necessary area of the shoe. So we sew. After sewing the counter, we also saw the area, the uh, the upper of the monk strap where we are going to place our monk strap. So there is a lot of sewing in this video, like I said.
while doing the sewing we lining our our shoe we lining it after taping lining We joined the uh, monk strap with the, 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 the strap rather, pardon me. We joined the strap with the body of, uh, of should, I, should I call it upper? I really don't know what to call it anyways. Okay, so it's not a common design. So we joined it together. After joining, we sew as you can see. We sew and we move on to the next stage. okay yeah we uh, it has a flap on it also the design is kind of complicated and it takes a whole lot of time unlike a books or a normal monk strap shoe it has a flap on it so this is how we do our flap we mark the the area we are going to to uh, to separate so they are uh, they are cutting it so as to make a flap or fringes you can call it fringes and you can also call it flap so whichever one that is best suitable for you so that's what we are doing here cutting our flap you are making flap on the shoe you are making flap of fringes you can call it fringes as well on the shoe so You know what we do after after joining our lining alongside with our shoe yeah we have it here as well we are doing the same thing as well Okay, after trimming out the excess part of the lining, we are placing our mock strap, our strap design, yeah, our strap design on our shoe. That's what we are doing here, as you can see.
we apply little gum to it like you know you know why we always apply gum even if we are sewing so that it will stay firm when sewing so that's why we always apply uh gum yeah uh, on 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 our shoe even if we are sewing it so that it will, it will stay firm on it Don't forget there is a straight line at the uh, on, on the leather. So here we have it. We are just making a separation. Yeah, we, we just have to cut the, uh, the, the 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 area where we mark when we were, you know, cutting out the, the the material on the leather. So we did that because if we didn't separate it that way, it will be it will be tight for you. And again. As the design implies, so you can adjust with the buckle of the shoe. You can adjust with the buckle of the shoe, even if it's tight. So you can use the buckle for the adjustment. So that's why we have to, you know, we have to separate. We have to divide the the area that that that, that particular area. So even if it's tight like this, even if it tights you you can you know just release it from the buckle a little bit by, by two or three years and you know they are good to go again so that's but if we we, we, we don't de de divide it it will definitely give you a problem the the, the uh the consumer a problem because even if it tighten you even if it's tight you won't be able to adjust it even with the with the buckle so that's why we have to pierce we have to divide the middle part of it we did it for both shoes anyways what you what i didn't repeat in the second leg of the video it's done same process is done with the first one so you don't need to worry about that
There is no shoe without joining, without the counter side, without joining the counter side. Yeah, Brooks design might be different, Chelsea boots might be different. It's not even different because you have to join it. So we are here, we are again. We are joining, we all know how we join. After joining, we apply gum and we have to apply our counter on it. Because we already have our counter. It's in the first video, it's at the beginning of the video where I showed you every details of the shoe so after joining here is our result the, the counter part and line after joining we sew after sewing we trim out the excess part of it and we have our result we then move to the next one which is uh we are, we are close to the lasting stage okay the next one here yeah the next one we have here is okay we apply gum on our uh, inso it's been provided been they are provided already it's ready for use we have our so we apply gum on it we have our front stick and we find the necessary part of the shoe so as to be able to last then we move on to the lasting process the lasting stage very sure we all know what we do when it comes to lasting like i said i was unable to provide a lasting video in my last the lasting process, the lasting process in my last video. But if you have been following my videos, you will see that's the only day I missed. I didn't show the lasting process because I was kind of hooked up with some things. So here we have our lasting process. If you've been following, if you're a constant uh, viewer, you would have known. I'm very sure you'd have you know, been able to come up with close to perfection of in, 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 in this lasting stage. So just need to you know, stay focused on it and see how it is done While lasting, we applied our front stay on it already. Also, we apply our front stay. So after applying our front stay, we cover. After covering the shoe, we we uh, mark out the 
sole on the shoe and we find the necessary part on it on, on, on the shoe so here we have it after joining our sole alongside with our shoe here we have the result then we move on to the last process of the shoe which is the punching aspect the, the brooks punching aspect so here we have it we mark it out as well we have like i said and i will stop saying it we have pattern for every design every design in our workshop unless it's a new workshop that's why i haven't come up with a, a video of how to make uh, a pattern yet so that is that about that so after marking out the punch after punching we have a and product we have our results Okay guys, so here we have it. Our shoe is done, it's ready for you. So this is a loafers, a monk strap loafers with flap or fringes and also a brooks with a brooks punching. Thank you very much for seeing things. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to your people as well. See you guys next time. Shalom.